All right, so we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to route multiple audio tracks all in one go. So that's gonna be really efficient for you in the long run when you're gonna be working on bigger projects that have literally hundreds upon hundreds of tracks. Because if you were gonna route each one of those tracks manually one by one, it would take you, like I said, literally hours. So I'm going to be showing you one of the most important keyboard shortcuts you will ever learn in Pro Tools, and that is Option Shift. Okay, so you want to hold that while selecting. Well, first you want to select the the actual tracks you want to you want to route. Then you want to hold Option Shift and keep holding on to those two keys while you click on the output of just one of the tracks. And in this case, they're already routed somewhere, but just for fun, let's route them to the sound effects um, subfolder, which is right over here. So as you can see, it took a little while, but they are all routed to where I wanted them to be routed. If I want to put them back to where they were, you can do the same thing. And we're going to put those mech tracks back to mechanics right over here, all while holding Option Shift. Now be very careful with this keyboard shortcut because if you're not pressing the right keys, you can actually end up routing every single track in your session to some random folder. I don't know which one it usually ends up being, but I've had this happen to me and it will literally cost you even more time because then you're going to have to actually reroute every single track in your session. And for some reason, you can't undo that or anything that you're doing in the mixer. So just make sure that you're pressing the right keys. And I might be overreacting here, but you know, it's happened to me in the past, maybe there's a, a fix or like a way to undo it. I don't know. Just get it right the first time. And I promise you everything will go smoothly and you will save lots of time working this way. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it makes your audio post production process that much more efficient. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button comment and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.